Today on the bench, we've got this tragic tuba. Lots of bell damage. The valves don't work. The tubing is crushed in most all the way around. Flat, double buckles, D-shaped. We're going to remove all of the branches and repair the dents on this and realign everything. I like to start with the inside branches first. I use old business cards as spacers between the braces and the solder. going to use the weight of the tuba to pull against and help take out these smaller dents. Biggest thing is to control and not let the braces break. We will continue with a small ball on a rod to work on the other branches working small areas at a time. What we're doing here is continuing to work the branch with the, under the ball. We're trying to draw straight lines with the light so that we can tell that the dents are removed. Now we're going to switch and use magnetics to help give us the upper hand around the radius of this branch. Now we'll use the den hammer to smooth everything out. And just like that, our first branch is done. Clean up the solder joints, and then we'll get it remounted. Notice that we weren't overly aggressive in our dent work, and the branch stays in alignment. Next, we will remove the outer branch.
The goal here is to rough shape it, getting it round. You have to be a little more aggressive at first and finer tune your work as you go. For these severe creases, we want to place the head of the ball underneath and strike with the rawhide mallet, bringing it back round. We're going to set up the dent machine, a ball with a very sharp roller, and use that to get right against the brace. Now we reposition the roller to take up more surface area on the ball. It will allow us to do a broader range of work.
<clears throat> Almost. I'm using my hand as the template. <laughs> It's a good place to start. Gotta get a couple up here. For the inside of the radius, I made a PVC rounded cover. going to go ahead and remove the main bottom bow so that I can get the outer branch back into alignment. Keeping these braces aligned on the body, a neat trick is to backfill them. By controlling the heat in your soldering, you can come in from the front where the gap is and draw that solder to the back where you have a proper fit onto the body. This will leave you a gap in the front of the brace, but once it cools, you can just tap it down and you will have a proper fit for your brace and then use your heat to just control the front and draw it around. Pistons do not move, but the reasoning is because the alignment and the stress for the chassis is off. Once we have the branches back in their proper place, typically you can pop the solder joints that hold the chassis that have kept it bound or stressed out and the pistons will start to move again. This is a good stopping point for today. We'll do the bottom bow and the bell tomorrow. Thanks for watching.